so today I'm going to make some scones just because maybe we need a little break from everything and I'm sure a lot of people are learning how to cook now that we're in this self-isolation. And so my daughter bought me this book for cookbook for my birthday and I'm going to and then she asked for some scones. So I'm going to make some scones. I started the recipe and then realized that it was actually in metric. So I had to do some math and get it all converted. And I did all that and then I basically pre-measured some of the ingredients out for us. So we need a cup and two thirds of flour and we need um, 20 grams or a tablespoon and a half of baking soda and half a teaspoon of salt. And then we were to sift all that together. And I did most of the sifting because my sifter really isn't all that great and it took a while to do that. So now I'm supposed to add the butter, unsalted butter, half a cup of it, and we're supposed to mix it until it feels like small crumbs. So while I'm mixing, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is that I actually feel fairly privileged to be able to be making these scones today because I realize that there's people out there who are really struggling through this time. They, uh, a lot of them don't have refrigerators some of them have limited amount of space in the refrigerators. Some people are trying to cook using microwaves because they don't have sto stores, uh, sorry, stoves and ovens. So they're trying to figure out how to put full meals together for their family using microwaves. And I want us to remember those people as we're kind of grumbling about having limited supplies and what we're doing. Um, I want us to remember that there are other people who are less fortunate than us and that uh, it's actually kind of a privilege to be here putting what uh, ingredients we have together into um, scones for this case. So I'm almost there on this mixing. One of the other things I think we're learning is that we're all more capable of doing things than we thought. Uh, like campaigning from our kitchens using the technology and devices that we have. So we're all kind of learning something new and learning how to get by. And we're all also coming together as communities. So it's kind of interesting in a time of social distancing that we're actually coming together as a society and helping each other out. So actually, I think this looks Pretty good. I think it's looking like small crumbs. Wow, um, it's a fine crumb, so I think that's where we're at here. A little more. You know, I don't know. Okay, then it asked for, it calls for um, three fourths a cup of whole milk. And I don't have whole milk, I have 2% milk on hand. So we're going to just go with that, hope it works. And we were supposed to put in some sugar. So we need our sugar, our half a, let's see, it's a third of a cup. Yeah, third of a cup, so I guess I better shift this over right quick. Sorry, thought we'd pre -marry. Third of a cup of sugar, right? And now we're gonna mix all this together. So it tells us to mix uh, to give a soft dough and to be careful not to over mix. So, let's see what we get here. Looking kind of wet to me, but I guess we're going to see. Right, so there we go. Who knows if this is going to work, y'all? But we're all in this together. So I'm going to cover it with some cling wrap and it tells me to go away for 30 minutes. And so I'm going to let it rest for 30 minutes and I will see you again in 30 minutes. So we're back and we're going to add some cranberries to ours because my husband likes cranberries. So I'm putting in half a cup of cranberries. And by the way, I actually fixed the dough a little bit while we were waiting. Um, I had one of the calculations wrong. I thought it was one and two thirds cup flour and it was actually two cups of flour. So I added that flour to add, tighten up the dough a little bit. And 
So now we're ready to dump it out onto our lightly floured surface here. Maybe a little more flour there. Okay. And we are supposed to roll it out to one and a half centimeters thickness, which is, I think, about half an inch. But I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to do it until we think it looks, looks good. Okay? So that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to pat it out just a little bit to start with. Kind of flower up some of those. I really think that's gonna be wet. Okay. Here we go. So my husband's standing in here as well. So you see hands coming in from the side and that kind of thing. That'd be him. So do you think it's about um, one and a half centimeters? Do you think that's about half a? Because it's two point five centimeters per inch, I think. So it's supposed to be a half an inch. Don't you think it's about half an inch? Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. we're going to go with that. And now we're going to find our cutter. Oh, hang on. My husband's going to grab us our cutter. Set it off to the side there. Thank you. I'm going to cut these out. Then we're going to put it on a parched pan, a, 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 a pan with some parchment paper. And then again, they rest for another 30 minutes. So I'm going to finish cutting these out. I'm going to put them on the pan and I will see you after our 30 minutes. We've had our 30 minutes and now I'm going to brush them lightly with a beaten egg that makes them kind of shiny on top. And they go into the oven at 360 for 12. So we've taken out of the oven. And some of them have turned out really pretty, pretty and look very nice. So we'll go ahead and put them on the cooling rack. Oh, there was a nice one onto the counter. It's times like these that I really miss my mother-in-law being here. She's um, doing her quarantine and social distancing in Midland, but my mother-in-law is an amazing cook and she would have really enjoyed doing that with us. And so while I was cooking, I was thinking about her and um, all the tips she would have gave me. So she would have kind of known that the batter was a little too um, wet, what to add to fix that. So while you're trying to do these activities, think about the loved ones you might be missing, what they're doing, and uh, maybe do some FaceTime while you're cooking so that you can be with them during these times. Thank you. Hello. So one more note. I thought you might want to know if they actually ended up tasting good. So let's taste them and try them. And actually, yes, they turned out pretty decent. So for first try, it was a good thing. See you all tomorrow.